For this week's tip, I want you to observe how fast and easy it is to build Zenith's new 750 fuselage. I ran into this workshop at AirVenture this year. Let's take a look. Okay, so let's just talk a little bit about machine metal handling. When you're handling sheet metal, never hold it from the bottom. Because if somebody pulls it, you'll learn to speak marine very quickly. Never hold it from the sides, because if it slips through your hand, you'll learn to speak engineer really quickly. Hold it from the top. And then you can speak like a nut the rest of your life. Okay, so what we're going to do here is if I can get somebody else in here, two hands. You guys, nothing there, that's it, we're going to pick that up. And we're going to hold it, mind that camera, we're going to hold it up like this. And whilst we're holding it up, they're going to pop some steel beams on the table. So the steel beams are two inches, and the Clecos are just under two inches. And now, I've got one more beam to come in here. Like, are you that strong? Uh, and Lionel pushes the beam through. Oh! And it's hit me! No, you didn't. Okay, and then, if we hand that over to you guys there, hold it from the top, and we'll lay it down together. Isn't that beautiful? Right. So you know the game now. We need a Clico with no more than two holes between them, okay? So get those copper Clicos back in there. Building aeroplanes is a family business. Get young people involved. Where are you guys from? Chicago. Where? Chicago. Chicago. Is that a safe place? Is Al Capone still there? Okay. So, yeah, you're from Chicago. What plane are you building, guys? You're not building a plane? Find me your father. Bring your father here now. <laughs> your confidence in your build. Are you teaching these guys, Landon? Are you teaching them? Okay, so let's, let's see them put... She you know, on the Clicos. Okay, there's a young lady behind you. You need to get her doing some rivets. Come on, you're the crew chief. The crew chief doesn't do all the work himself. He gets the others to do the work too. So explain to this young lady what to do. Okay? I know young lady are difficult to speak to. Okay? There we go. Now, that's it. Can you slide it on to the next one there? You know, Lauren, we have a very famous pilot in the UK called Lauren Richardson, and she's an aerobatic pilot. You're going to do some more there? And your brother's name is Tommy. You're sure? How do you know that's his name? Because school doesn't teach shop anymore, so we've got to do it at home. If we want our children to have those skills that they're not teaching at school, you can bitch about it, or you can get on with it and teach them at home. So, if you think about it, what are we learning here as an education thing? We're learning to count. Because we're constantly counting things out. We're learning about sizes. We're learning about... Can we just read that? Okay, we're learning all of these different tricks. Okay, now Claire, are you going to come round here? Landon is 12. Claire is 7. Oh, do you want to come with me? Would you come with me? I go with you. I go with Mummy. Mummy is less scary. Okay. Okay, so let's do one over here which is easier for you to reach because you're not very tall. You know, Claire, Claire, you do know that we need smiles to make this work. It only works if you smile. That's a beautiful smile. All right, Claire, so let's come on over the top there. All the way down. Now pull the trigger. You are building your airplane. Now that gives a bigger smile. Do you want to do another one? Yeah? Okay, don't forget to look at Daddy and smile. Big smile. Fantastic. Now you're cooking with gas. Actually, we're going to do this one as well? Okay, now, I don't know how strong Claire is, but I reckon that Claire can learn to do Clicos. Did you learn to do Clicos? 
What you're going to do is pop that on there. You're going to squeeze this and it pops out. Okay? Can you? I need to see if you can squeeze it first. Squeeze the hands together. It's strong enough to squeeze it all the way. Fantastic. Okay, so can you take that one out for me? Oh yeah. I'm when you get the one okay, so <laughs> normally these sheets come, uh, um, normally these sheets come wrapped flat in brown paper and we open them up. Now we need to know where the inside is. This is the outside, so this is the part we start with, we start with the outside, we're just going to knock any outside furs off and Okay, so Landon, remember we gotta slide it in. Because okay. Yeah, there's a proper world it is. Here they can't afford all the letters. Where do you originate from? Okay, so you know that because that's what we would do. At, well what we would that's what we would do at home. That's a lot of older. She's impatient. But what we would do at home, you've worked out Patricia's impatient. If you if you if you've worked that out, please. It's taking you a while. They tell me how you're a They have engines. Okay, so flip this over now. Ready to join the sides up. Over we go. Yeah, we need to remove those feet. Okay, so these temporary clickers on the inside now, we're just going to quickly pop those out. You can see it's picked up a lot of stability already. Look, they're fine then. Just leave them there, they're fine. Look, it's going to come apart again later on. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to first of all put into place the two horizontal tail bulkheads. And these bulkheads help to stabilize the tail end of the fuselage because back here is where you're going to get all of the torsion and the energy from the tail feathers, you know, the elevator, the rudder, and we need to make that back end stable. The other thing it's going to do is it's going to help us as we put the sides on because it'll give us something to clip to. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to bring the first side over. Okay, here comes the side. And again, for those who weren't here earlier, handling sheet metal, we always hold it from the top. If you hold it from the bottom and somebody pulls the sheet, you will end up learning to speak marine. Or if you hold it on the side and it slips through your hands, you learn to speak engineer. Now, as we come over here, you'll see that the holes line up perfectly. But we've got to clip it in. And those of you who watched earlier, we left the last two rivets out so that we can simply... If we're out here, pop that one there, there, there we go. We can simply pop it in, ready to go. Okay, these are black ones. We're going to put a copper one that will go there. But just wait till we're all clipped in. Can you see here on the inside how this is clipping in to place? And here we're lining up. Do you have a clear hole there? Don't oh, know, you need to put a couple one in. Down to this one. Now my piece of plywood would be here holding this with a clip at home, but I am a piece of plywood today. Please don't call me plywood. Are we good to start clicking this together? Right, fantastic. Do I have a tall person there? Yes, yeah, you're a tall person. Would you like to be a piece of plywood? Fantastic. You can just come here, and it's at the top here actually, you're just supporting that so it doesn't go anywhere. Um, now grab some black clitos and pop into this space here. Are you ready for the second side? Okay, so here comes the second side. Now, the fun part will come putting the top on, because as you can imagine, 
Fred over there is a nice piece of plywood. What's Dad's name? Ian. Ian. A very Scottish name. Okay. And you can see back at this end, they've connected the HT in. Horizontal tail bulkhead. And we're going to come in now. And this again is going to clip into place and the holes will line up. Get your Ticos ready. Come on, Landon. And there we go. Those two, those two rivets that aren't in on those verticals make that clipping in so easy. There we go, it's all clipped in. And now they just need to pick up some Clicos. Okay. That's fine, great. Take your time. Just line up the holes, make sure they're nicely lined up. That's uh, you need to go back that way, sir. Oh, no, you're good, you're good. Very good, well done. Okay, so that's the two sides up. This has gone from being factory parts at 8.30 this morning. We are now five hours in and we're about to have the rear fuselage together. It's five hours, including the riveting. And most of the work today has actually been done by under 20 year olds. Many of them under 10 and it's been lovely to see the young people working. Young people are the future of our industry. If you're building a plane, please get young people involved. Now Ian, do you fly? You're the youngest? Well, you know, learning to fly in the UK is changing. Okay, so literally this is going to offer over. And you see the skin is going to sit into the ridge and it's going to clip in to those L angles. And if you note there, you see these little marks here? If we put that up a little bit, I could just flex it out so that it drops into that hole. Nice and easy. Now just flex that there. Lift it up a little bit more, guys, at the front. There we go. A little bit more up. A little bit more up there. There we go. Now drop it into the groove. Let it sit in, self-supporting on the other angles. Can we come up at the back a bit, please? Lift the back up. You need to come up. We're out. Come back up. Now you need to lift it back up again. That's good, guys. Yeah, what happened was, go up, you come, up, up more, up more, up more, there we go, down you come. We will need to slide the whole thing forward a bit. Yeah, just wait a moment, man. Those of you who don't know Patricia, Patricia was the first civilian woman in Ghana to get a pilot's license, and probably the first person in Ghana to build their own plane, and also the first woman worldwide certified by Rotax and Rotax aircraft engines. She's also my wife, and I admire her enormously. Okay. Okay, so how long has that taken? You always think this is going to be difficult, yeah? But here you are from this morning at 8.30, stock parts. Here we are just five hours later. And if we were going to be carrying on, we'd start pulling some rivets after the Clicos go in. And we are going to just go on now and we just pop a little bit of baggage rack in to stabilise it. Because the back end you'll see now is nice and solid. And the front end is flippy floppy. Um, as soon as you've got some Clicos around where your fingers are, you're free, the Clywood. Uh, you're free, Fred Clywood. Uh, Right now, the airframe itself is solid at the back, but it's flippy floppy at the front. So if I go down to the bulkhead at the back, there's no movement here, nice and solid. But here, I'll do that again for you, do it. Back down here, it's nice and solid. When I get up to here, it's flippy floppy. So by putting the baggage back in, we achieve a number of things. One, we solidify the airframe, but also we stop in flight anything going too far back. Balance is really important, and you can't store bicycles back there. This has to be an empty space. Your baggage has to go in a specific area. Gisella. Okay, Gisella, if you go around to Patricia there, she's going to get you to help her build the plane. Gisella's nine. So here we've got a nine-year-old learning to build a plane. Come on, Gisella. Okay, so what you're going to do in a moment, you're going to squeeze that for me like that really hard. 
That's good. All the way, all the way. Oh.